Hey, this is Jamie and Esther. We're going to share a little bit of the story behind the title track from the St Audits Worship album, Until You Do. So Until You Do was a song that came about on a writing retreat. We'd been away for a few days and one of the vicars of the church had been sharing a little bit about the cross and how we can think about the cross in different ways and thinking of the the opposites that you see, you know, that he died that we might live. And um, I just had this thing running through my head that he became a man of sorrows that we might know joy. And for Jamie and myself, we'd recently experienced the loss of our earthly fathers and we were in a season of lament and grief. And so this song kind of just came out of that um, time in our lives, thinking about how Jesus on the cross took on our pain and our suffering and enabled us to step into the hope of joy in the future. Until you do, we choose to trust in you. Yeah, and I, I think, um, thinking back on how the song started, it was one that I literally stumbled into, really. Um, I was just going around all the different writers on the last morning. Some people were finishing ideas off, some people were um, starting new ones. And um, I remember like, literally knocking on the door and saying, oh, hey, what, what are you up to? And you playing the idea. And I think because of our shared experience, it was something that I immediately connected with. Um, it's something that, as a co-writer, is often a bit of a make or break time with a song, whether you're gonna relate to someone's idea, um, whether you are gonna understand what they're talking about. But for us, having both lost our dads, it was um, something that immediately I just knew exactly where, where you were coming from, really. We ended up, it was, it was almost like you said to me, no, let's scrap, scrap the thing that in my mind had been the thing that I wanted to hold on to the most. And sometimes I found, you know, when you scrap the bit that you're most attached to, actually, it opened up this whole other sphere for us to step into. And I remember I was just playing on the piano and I, I was just playing the little, what ended up being the bridge that you will make all things new and you just said, mm. that's it, that's the hook, that's where we're headed. Yeah. And it, I guess it all just came together from that point onwards. I think it's um, interesting with the recording, like, um, as someone who was steering the project, it, there's always a little bit of a nervousness when you're bringing in a song that you've literally just finished. Yeah. Uh, and so many of the songs that we were recording were really lived in by the church. Mm. Um, but I remember in the, the shortlist in meetings, um, just this sense of that like, there was something special about this song. And I remember when, when we recorded it and you led it on the night, it just went from a track on the album to the title track within moments as so many people just connected with mm. this um, fact that God is a God that keeps his promises and you will make all things new. Yeah. Our hope is really, unfortunately, we don't hope that people go through loss, but that this song could be something that grounds them and gives them that real hope for eternity in the future. It talks in 1 Thessalonians about don't grieve as the world grieves, but have hope because we have this hope of eternity. And I think this song for us has just been that acknowledging the depths of sorrow, but looking to the future and Jesus' return. Mm -hmm.